How's it going, people? Craig Mitch here, joined by Barnaby Slater, and this is Tottenham Transfer Talk. Antonio Sanabria. Yeah. All right, so 16.3 million. I don't know a lot about this guy. I know he's moved He's moved around clubs a lot in terms of being yeah. put out on loan and stuff. I've seen a bit of his stuff on YouTube, but let's face it. Plays for anyone, Roma and Paraguay. On YouTube. The worry I have for 20 years him, old. he looks like a very skillful South American, as you know Eric Lamella was when he joined. But yeah. with South Americans, a lot of the time, it takes a long time to acclimatize. To adjust. Uh, to adjust to the Premier League. Yeah. So he'd probably be one for the future, I'd say. And the thing with him, I think, is he can probably play in the three behind as well. So he'd be a good option like that. 16.3 million, though. Like you said, 30 million is the new 50 I million. Think that would make it about 7 million yeah, in this climate. Yeah, no, I think, can you go wrong with that? Well, I genuinely think they are the, they're the deals that Spurs are looking for at the moment. Wanyama for 11 million. That kind of deal for a striker, this I think, is, is what we're going for. It's going to take the next for. level, though. No, Craig. We just missed out on the league, mate. We <laughs> need to really, I but think we really need to go all out and roll do, the dice. We do, but we have to temper it with the new stadium. We uh. know we're building the new stadium. And just think about it, you know, the, uh, the Brexit thing will have affected yeah. the finances in terms of that new stadium a lot as well. So that it, it's a very dangerous and and it's a very dangerous time. And I think Levy uh, will be, you know, treating this rational man. very carefully at the moment. Okay. Ayosi Perez, the man who has scored at White Hart Lane two yep. seasons in a yep. row. I mean, we know what he's all about. That rumour has been around a long time. It has. Well, it? I think, uh, me personally, I mean, he's decent. I think really it's because he always performs against us. He's not really consistent, is no, he? Doesn't no, do it he, the he doesn't play. He didn't play. Uh, very, he very rarely started for Newcastle last year. This is a rumour that's really come back out because he has said, he has come out, I think, in the South Shields Gazette out in uh, New York, uh, uh, Newcastle and said, <laughs> I want to stay uh, I want to stay at Newcastle and help them out of the out of the championship, which is, you know, it's one thing to say, but also things like that tend to come out when a player's agent has told them, you know, keep yourself in the press, you know, remind yeah. remind people that you're still about. I think if Spurs put a sneaky, you know, 15 million bid in for him, then he'd probably come. But would he be a regular starter at Spurs? Would he be the player? Would he be the player to put pressure on Harry Kane? I don't think so. I think that's a, a, an unlikely one. All right, speaking of players that could potentially put pressure on Harry Kane, yeah. you've got Janssen. Yeah, everyone's, Janssen. everyone's talking about him. Yeah. I mean, he scored, what, 27 goals? over in the Dutch league, he's yep. doing his thing. I mean, what, what's your thoughts on him? I mean, I saw him against England at Wembley, scored a goal. Yep. Apparently he took he, Robin van Persie's place. Yeah, he's a strong boy. I like the look of him in terms of that. I always, I think I've said it before, I always worry with players from the Dutch league, you know, are you getting a, a Va Ruud van Nistro or are you getting a Matija Kesman? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Because both of them, Kesman, I think scored more goals at PSV then Ruud van Nistelrooy, if I'm wrong, sorry about that, but you, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments below. Um, and he came to Chelsea and he was poor. Now, so Big poor. Jansen looks uh, strong. He's young, 22, so he'll want it. And I think we were looking at about 12 million. I think they've asked for about four and a half million more. So if we went to 16.6, .6, I think he'd be our player potentially. But then rumours that other teams have started getting involved as well. There was a rumour last week that Arsenal were sniffing yeah. about. I don't know. I, I think strikers are hard to find, and therefore you're all. A lot of clubs are fishing in the same waters, you know, swimming in the same waters. Of course. But I, I'd be happy with him if he came along. If we got, th you know, if we had three great strikers to start the season with, giving us options off the bench and options for Europe, and like for the League Cup game. Let's not forget last year we played a scratch team in the League Cup against Arsenal, went out in the third round. It would be yeah. nice to go on a bit of a longer run and that win a trophy, you know. And I think if we had three, do you remember the days of like Pav, Robbie Keane, Defoe? Yeah. Uh, you know when we had Fervent four tough. great strikers. Even it moved on and we had Crouch. We had, yeah. we had loads. We always had. You, a you need that. You need to scare oppositions knowing that not only if it doesn't go right in the first 60 minutes, you then have people who come off the bench and, and change yeah. around the, the way that you have to defend. So, we never had that this season. No, we no, were we playing Nasser Chadley up front well, at we times. Did, we did well despite that. So, yeah. so we've got to you know, push on and, and I'd like us to have three. All right, sticking on the theme of strikers, Berahino. I mean, we're not really linked with him, but this no. is just something we've seems, kind of flirted seems with. Seems to have gone quiet. What was interesting about that is about two months before the end of the season, The Guardian did a story saying uh, Berahino is still on. Levy and Peace have kind of um, thawed relations. They've and made that was peace. still on. They've made peace. But then it's gone a bit quiet. I think with, with Spurs and Berahino, unless another team kind of comes in, we're going to wait to see who else we get. And then maybe if it gets to the end of the transfer window again, maybe we'd go back in for that. Let's not forget with panic, Berahino. Panic, press the panic button. I know you're a bit worried about his attitude, but let's not forget he can play in any of the three behind the front yeah. man as well. So he's a good option on that front. But, you know, I'll tell you what. Looking at how Jermaine Defoe did at the back end of last season, we should have got him in January, got him back. I was saying that, we though, Bonnery. Bonnery, you were, I was you were, saying you were. that. And he should have went for England. Yeah, yeah. Really and truly. But Berahino, I mean, he knows the Premier League. He could be. He wouldn't could, need to adapt. He he's young. Score, yeah, he could he's score goals. Kane in them. He could score goals for us, and and he reminds me a bit of JD. Um, not quite as brutal a finisher, but uh, and probably is offside less. But um, quite direct. 
I like him. Uh, I, I'd like to see us still interested in him, but I get the feeling maybe he'll end up going to someone like a Sunderland or a Palace or something like so that. So you're saying that's like Plan C, D kind of a Plan C, but I'm sure he's still holding out for Spurs. I'm sure he would love to. We'll see what happens. Spurs. He did do the tweets last year. He was yeah, frustrated. He All right, finally. Alexander Lacazette. Yeah. I mean, this guy two seasons ago was on fire, scoring yeah. all kinds of goals for Leon, and then now he wants to get out. But yeah. Leon are valuing him at about thirty m's. I mean, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, he didn't even make the Euro squad. He well, had for, an awful season. For me, there must be a reason why he didn't make that Euro squad because they brought in Ginac, who plays in the Mexican he league all now. All over there. He plays. He actually came on the other day and looked really good. No, he, he did. He, hit he the did. Bar. But um, so Lacazette's value should have dropped, but Leon seemed not to be letting it drop. Um, I can't see it happening. I mean, they just he, got a new looks, stadium that they probably need to pay bit, for as He looks well. a bit ego to me. A little bit too much ego for Poch. I don't think he wants... He doesn't want a big ego to come in. You don't think he'll go in there and slot right in? I, mean, I believe he's he very good on goals. FIFA and Football Manager, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll have you know. to see what happens. I yeah. mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of clubs interested in him as well. But. West Ham, I think. Don't be surprised yeah? if he ends up at West Ham. Yeah. All right, guys. So the, this has been our transfer talk. Let us know in the comments below what you think of all the transfers. Who have we missed out on? Who? Where are the rumours that we've missed out on that we haven't talked Give about. Give us the sources. We want all of them. Heinz, yeah. all of it. Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you've enjoyed it, drop it a like and we'll see you soon. Keep it casual. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitch. I'm back, joined by Barnaby Slater, of course. And uh, today, we're just going to get straight into things. England out is going to be one of the subjects.